<laughs> I'm here for the Road to QuakeCon tournament uh, run by Faceit and uh, in collaboration with EGB.com, so eGaming Bets. They rebranded actually. Mm -hmm. um, they actually did, uh, they sponsored a lot of stuff for Quake very, very early on. A lot of the team tournaments yeah. and a lot of dual tournaments, tournaments in, in uh, coalition with Faceit. So really cool to see them jumping back in. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. And there's five thousand uh, dollars on the line this weekend. There's going to be for the dual section today. There's going to be fifteen hundred for first place, I believe. Five hundred yep. for second, and then two hundred fifty split over uh, third and fourth. Uh, and then tomorrow we've got a crazy amount of games happening. But it looks like we won't be able to talk about that right now because Noctis and Cooler has started here in the Road to QuakeCon Group A. Uh, we're on Noctis at the beginning. Uh, he's got himself the Rocket Swan Yellow. Going to show you if we can zap over to the. Wow, that was very quick plays, and he actually ends up taking quite a yeah, lot of damage. Pot, pot. It's a surprising amount, even though he was rocket jumping away, and you knew he was going to take damage of that. Like the amount of LG into the pillar. Cool, yeah, it was... Cooler still managed to get quite a bit of damage off. What's his LG percentage? Can we check really fast? Let's see if I can. I can't get the accuracy on first. Oh, no. It's, okay, it's, it's been... Well, to be fair, that's that's pretty damn good considering that the Noctis was fast rocket jumping away, but... Yeah. Nice engagement here found by, oh, by the rocket and Noctis. <laughs> He manages to find that rocket right around the corner. Noctis isn't quite able to uh, uh, move away. That's a shame. Noctis wasn't doing bad damage there, but he, he wasn't yeah. the most optimal of uh, positions to begin with. Yeah, that's, you ha they both had to take that engagement, mm -hmm. basically. So it was uh, well fought by both of them, but Kula's going to come out on top. At least it's a better start for Noctis than against Evil, even still, <laughs> basically. Yeah, absolutely. And this actually could be an interesting series. Noctis will have played with Kula a fair few times before, and I wonder how... Uh, he's going to play with uh, Cooler's mind games here. Good rockets once again. It is going to be 2-0 to Cooler, but ha being able to stabilize right now for Cooler is, is not quite as easy. So Noctis, he's actually got a better stack than him uh, for the time being. And he actually wants to rush in. He's got the plasma. He's trying to get that position over the Mega Health. Oh, one rail from Cooler, a second wow. as well. And Mega's not even going to be taken by Noctis. A little rocket jump again. Noctis, you can see the aggression continuing. Is he able to get through the teleporter and put pressure on Red? No, it looks like he's uh, giving it a rest for now. That was just pure class by Cooler, to be honest. That yeah. should not have happened. Cool, uh, Noxus made the perfect plays. He mm -hmm. knew he did enough damage. Um, the, the past engagements before that weren't so good, but he managed to save it with that one. Knew that he'd done enough, but that you just, Cooler just was amazing there. There's, you, you just have to give it to him. The rails that he was hitting yeah. on the Mega, that was yeah, excellently done. Uh, red is coming up. Cooler, though, in position for the Mega Health. He can do damage on Red. If you can hear him, I'm not able to quite hear the sounds, but I think he spotted Noctis over the LG bounce pad. And there we go, Noctis, I like the little rocket, forcing Cooler out of the room, and he's going to be able to get that red armor cleanly. It is 3-0 to Cooler, but Noctis certainly uh, rebuilding this game for himself. Yeah, just playing it slow. I think, you know, Cooler is a, pl a player that he probably respects a lot more than Evil as well. Mm -hmm. And that actually also makes a difference to you know how, how well Noctis can play. Now... He's going to go in for the pressure here towards the yellow. He's going to find Cooler with a direct rocket in the choke point, and Cooler has to back away, but he's no, he's going to go back in for a bit of extra damage here, and he's actually going to capitalize what? on a single miss rocket of Noctis will turn into 3 HP for him. So that is ridiculous, and he's going to push forwards with the shotgun, <laughs> takes the kill, and the Mega, and the yellow, and the red is in 10 seconds in a matter of moments. The thing is, if Cooler didn't do that, the Noctis, he would have taken red, he would have gone down, got yeah. the lower yellow, and the Mega. His control would have been amazing, and having already hit the Rockets beforehand, uh, he would have been great for a fight to get himself on the board. That was such an amazing read by Cooler, and even more impressive execution. Uh, is there a way that Noctis could have done better there? Because he had the Rockets out, maybe if he switched to LG or something. I'm not even sure if he would have stood a big chance to win that fight, I think even if he did switch. Like a, a really strong gamble by Kula. Like it's a big risk, big reward, because if, cause if Noctis hit one of those Rockets, where Kula mm -hmm. did go for the aggression, where Noctis didn't expect him to, just covering himself with them, yeah. then, then Kula... Uh, Cooler's really bad off in that situation, but look at how good he looks right now. He's going to take another engagement over the red, which Noctis has just swept away. So Noctis is actually finding edges back into the game. Nice rail as well. Oh, that's a really damaging grenade. That's going to suck for Noctis. What's he going to do now? He's going to keep the pressure on, but Cooler looks much better here at the moment. Oh, that was good. And one more rail there for Noctis. He can't quite find the angle. Looking for a little flick shot just then, but Cooler's going to be able to escape, get himself to top yellow. Noctis, if he's got enough health, can make his way over towards the red, but he's mistimed it. He got the timing oh. wrong between the red and the mega, and that is going to be, uh, well, his to his suffering. And there we go, straight rocket jump, straight up there from Cooler, getting the major items. He's going to have to give away the lower yellow, 
that he's uh, holding. I don't, I don't know if maybe there's a, an error in his rotation here, but either way, giving up just one yellow out of four items on that rotation is just fine. It may even work in his favor because it means that Noctis might come out for renegation much sooner than he otherwise would have had mm -hmm. not getting in yellow. But so far, you've got to really uh, feel like a little bit down for Noctis at the moment because he's made a lot of really good plays. He's, some of these fights, 5-0, it's been so close. Kulis had to play incredibly well yeah. to pull out these situations where Noctis has often had the, the edge. He's going to go in once more, picks up the, the uh, Mega Health, steals it away, and the failure on the rocket jump there from Kula could buy Noctis some time to pick up a little bit more in the way of armor, but Kula's got a small window here to find an engagement. Oh, almost manages to get him in the back right there. Noxus does have position over red and is going to be able to take a cooler. Cooler? Are you okay? Interesting. It looks like uh, if we have an admin on the server that they should pull. Oh, he's, like he's, he's playing again. Okay, who, who cares? It's just this cooler, man. He Maybe might have just been like. Had a know. phone call. <laughs> sushi arrived. I mean, cooler's pretty chill. When he's been playing lately, so maybe he was just scratching his head off with his mouse pad, I don't know. That LG though, being able to defend against Noxus just there, doesn't really feel too much under pressure. And getting the rocket jumps back to the top, Noxus just feel like he's he's hurling everything at Cooler, but nothing yet seems to be working. He's he's on the brink of making something massive happen, but Cooler's is always that like step ahead of the mind games. Yeah, he looks really, really good today so far. Noctis is playing good out of his roll. skin to stay in this one. And as you say, like now, after that rail, Kulis is mm -hmm. only down to 50-50. So this uh, this is an opportunity for Noctis to get back on the map. He's going to pick away the, the Mega as well. So it's about these yellows at the moment for, for Noctis before the next engagement will come over that red. If he could find Kula with a bit of damage before the red spawns, he'll have a really strong, yeah, yeah. strong fight over the red and he should win the, the control of the map. But there's nothing here from Noctis. He's playing it passive, and this gives Kula a breathing space to actually make a play on the red. Kula's playing very carefully there. Oh, wow, Noctis actually getting the jump shot. He gets another rail as well. One returned by uh, Kula, and we're getting an aggressive jump. I like the move by Noctis. Even though he wasn't get able to get the damage, it, it almost made that red a bit safer to go for. He gets the Mega and the Yellow after. Noctis is in a great position. We've had a lot of time of this game passed already. He found Kula, he was actually crouching on the side, and he can barely chase him. That is frustrating. Had he known, he would have gotten much more damage. But he finds the rail. Noctis is on the board at last. He might get F-Spawn frag over here. Good follow-up indeed. It's great damage there. Everything's spawning, so Noctis has to be careful not to frag him now because he could get a spawn onto an He's item. Red. Oh, but oh. he gets the rail. Brilliant. That should be okay, though, considering that Kula shouldn't be able to do too much damage here if Noctis is on his shots. He, uh, Noctis will grab the Mega. He's going to try to speed onto some pressure here as well, as he knows that Kula has just taken that upper yellow. Which side is he going to go, though? Noctis is trying to just cut him off. He's waiting centrally now. Knows that, okay, time to uh, chase is over. Just have to wait for that position on this red so that's spawning. And uh, Kula's managed to get away with this, but for how long can he continue to do so without the punish from Noctis? Noctis getting a, a little bit frustrated. He wants Cooler to show his face. Is he still hiding at the top yellow? It is uh, definitely possible. That top yellow was taken very recently. Mega's going to be up in a moment. He can't find Cooler. He's leaving the Mega up, so it's a, it's a gamble from Noctis. And actually, Cooler's right below him, and Noctis isn't able to get past that. The barrage of uh, plasma. Is he going to push though? The Mega has been taken by Cooler. You've got to be exceptional in this fight, Noctis. He does get a free rail right at the end, which is always going to leave a smile on your face. Had to hit that one, actually, yep. and after all the damage he took, and he doesn't have any rockets. This is actually kind of annoying. So he'll have to go up with the, the plasma gun, and Cooler could very well be trapping this or lurking for some damage. You never know when he's going to poke out. He's been doing this quite a lot. He's just going to wait, and there's no presence from Cooler, so Noctis will get away unscathed, and he's back onto the Mega. But again, Cooler. You're expecting him to make a push right now. Noctis is expecting him to make a push, but he's so silent on the map right now. He's, he knows he's had, he has an advantage, so he's just building up the stack and staying out of the way, which is a smart choice from Kula. Okay, there's a minute and 20 seconds left for him to hold on to the lead. Noctis, he needs to make that chase happen right now. And a player like Kula on this map being able to plus back a big possibility. Looking for the rail right at the end. Noctis needs any kind of damage, anything that will knock him off his movement. And Kula's just stolen the red during that time. Is that going to be opportunity over? He drops Nocta uh, Cooler was not expecting that. The LG chase is pretty vicious, but he can't find the last bits of damage. He needs to get that Mega, get lower yellow, and he needs to go for it now. 
It's crazy that Kula managed to survive that. All that damage from Noctis and get him down there so low as well. That's going to slow Noctis' recovery massively into this match. There's no rocker. time. 40 seconds left. He's going to be in the face of Kula with a buckshot and he Whoa. does take him down. 40 seconds left though for him to get two kills. This is very doable for Noctis. Absolutely. If he's on point. Where are those spawns? He's got to find them. LG hasn't been taken recently, so I'd assume the other side of the map. He does spot him at the nice. top, actually. Find him by the yellow. One rail's good. Is Cooler going to double back for the yellow, the top yellow? You know, he just spotted him just there. But Noctis, 15 seconds. You've got to get that kill. He's looking for a little flick shot, a prediction rail even. But he can't make it happen. Cooler isn't going to be running back into his face anytime soon. With the five seconds left, the spawn delay will help him out. And now Cooler <laughs> is just wiggling. Oh my god. Five to three. What a game though from Noctis, really playing well. I also yeah. got to hand it to Cooler being able to sort of dance around at the end and uh, kill enough seconds to uh, secure that map victory. That was but really close. Like That was a, a close game we're getting there. You could see that Noctis is far more comfortable with Cooler than with Evil. Yeah, that was that was intense all the way. Mm -hmm. We saw a quick 5-0, but it was a 5-0 where it was so close. It yeah. took Cooler to make just incredible shots and incredible plays to stay in it. Noctis actually took really good decisions it, it's yeah. in all of that. Like It looked like fast, like he was kind of playing like he was against Evil, like lots of aggression. But it was actually really smartly placed aggression. Absolutely. He, he was Absolutely. playing it really well. And eventually he was able to get some frags. Maybe if it was a 15 minute uh, yeah. duel, maybe he would have it's got true. there in the it's end. True. But Cooler managed to hold on. I feel like Noctis was also waiting maybe when there was about two and a half minutes, two minutes to go. He was waiting for Cooler to do something aggressive. Whereas I don't think in any... Unless Noctis actively makes an error, I don't think Cooler's really going to feel like he needs to push on him and get a kill. He's like, I've got the lead. Why would I do anything? And maybe Noctis isn't expecting the plus back game so hard from him. But uh, just just um, some thoughts there before we move on to the next map. I'm not actually sure uh, what the next map is. Noctis very well could have picked that. But we have we still haven't seen a, um, a Furious Heights or a Lost World. Uh, yeah, there's other maps. Yeah, there are other maps. Uh, left. So I'm looking forward to getting uh, some of that. I do love a DM13, a Lost World. And there we're actually going to get it now. We've been gifted with this. All right, this is going to make me very happy. Uh, let's check out Noctis off the beginning of this. Getting the rocket spawn. Actually, always a spawn you can be happy with. And he should be able to get himself onto some uh, major items. Cooler, though, going to drop for the red. Already done a ton of damage. And Noctis could get himself a... The other yellow if he wants to. Uh, cool, they're going to be able to break away quite comfortably. Yeah, this is actually a very good map for Noctis, much in the way of Bloodrun is a lot about smart positioning, smart decision make making, and also good understanding rotations and how your player's going to mm -hmm. going to play some of these situations, a lot of the 50-50s. And uh, well, we'll see if Noctis can get out of this sticky situation that he's currently in, or it could be a very hot situation indeed, as he could take a plunge into this lava if oh, he God. does get rocketed too badly. And that's a lot of damage, actually. Oh, he's going to mess up the rocket jump as well. He's only got two rockets left now, so he really needs to get that rocket box. Um, and let's see if uh, Kula's going to make an aggressive move at the moment. Because the red is spawning, but he may want to leave it up because he should be quite stacked still. I don't think Kula's really taken much damage yet. No, he hasn't taken a whole lot. And he's, Kula's not really willing to take the risks with the red armor. If you guys that don't watch uh, a lot of Quake, uh, firstly, welcome to Face It TV. And secondly, that red area, that's the death trap. The death hit, essentially. Going into there, a lot of nasty things can happen when your opponents are on top, uh, the upper parts of the map, uh, trying to put pressure on you. Oh, that's a lot of nice damage, actually. That wasn't bad at all, actually. That's about 120 map. damage yeah. combined with the MG right there. So, and Noctis is able to negate the Mega and also do a lot of chip onto the armor. And he's going to go up for the engagement. He knows he's done well and he's try trying to lock it down with the LG, oh. but he won't be good enough. It's 40 health left on Cooler. And that's the 1 0. Uh, uh, Noctis actually gets the LG straight away and Cooler backs off. He writes, All right, actually, maybe I won't confront you straight away. And just uh, be happy with this 1 0 lead for the timing, which isn't that secure at the moment. Noctis, he does manage to get on the red. That vertical oh. LG. Bye bye. There goes the armor. And now the mega for Cooler. He is definitely stabilizing right now. Yeah, that was really sick damage. That makes all the difference. That's going to stop Noctis from challenging properly on some of these items. The, the red is, uh, as you mentioned, is sometimes you can just steal it away because. It's it's often going to be let, uh, let up because it's positionally kind of terrible. You put yourself really out of position to rocket jump up if you want to get back into position as a player in control. 
And that's going to allow Noctis maybe to go for it. But here's the engagement. Kula's so comfortable there. He has so yeah. much armor and health that it's not going to be a problem at all. It's interesting that Noctis actually decided to push forward instead of trying to uh, escape oh that situation. Oh, wow, he stays there. Now, that's a big shame for Noctis. Not able to get any damage out uh, while Kula gets that frag. And this is Kula getting onto the items fairly easily. But a bit of pressure from the plasma. Noctis does not seem to mind um, investing some frags into getting a bit of control and we're going to get the pummel kill. Oh dear. Heart there from Noctis. <laughs> it's not the kind of hug uh, you want to be in uh, this game, unfortunately. 5-0. And then this map, we, we talk about it all the time when we're doing our, uh, our more daily uh, Quake shows. But... Uh, this is not a map where you want to have to chase a, a big lead. Sometimes a 1-0 lead can be uh, extremely difficult to get back from. And Cooler defending that lead, well, who knows if he's even possible yet. Yeah, he's going to fake the rocket jump up there as well, but Noctis is too smart for this. But 200-200 is now in effect. And, oh, I think Cooler's going to mess up the jump there. He wanted to get up on the top, but he uh, it's, it's okay. He's still got more more health and armor to kind of he uses a stack to buy positioning that's a lot of what this map is about mm. more stack allows you to to be more mobile using rockets and um, you can see him just perched up on the upper area just waiting and spotting the legs out of noctis and he's going to go for the drop and the attack noctis ready though with the rockets and he might just go in for a full engagement and wow. he actually picks up the kill just pins cooler into the corner he read and his dodge so well as well actually that was amazing from noctis Back into this one now as well. He's got a great stack to work with. Just about outsmarting your opponent now. Usually we, we big up the, the cooler dodge all the time. He's got some of the best dodge in the game, but I think Noctis really understands that. One thing that Noctis is an absolute master of is just combat skills and definitely being able to read your opponent's dodge. I think that was working well into his favor right there. And it, he's actually giving himself a real chance, managing to get into the game before the halfway mark, securing some really good control. I'm excited to see how much closer Noctis can bring us. Again, having to chase that 5-0 lead, almost identical to what we saw in Blood Run. I wonder if he can get closer. Yeah, here we go, another engagement there. Kula's gonna press forward. He's trying to do as much as he possibly can to Noctis, what? and he even gets the kill. That is unbelievable. That Kula's damage is so efficient there. He's definitely outstacked, and That's now Noctis, unreal. he's in trouble. A lot of trouble, because there's 6-1, there's five minutes left. And Kula's got positioning and he's got a lot of damage from the top here. He can basically take his pick of armor. He's going to swing back for the Mega as well. He's got the LG advantage to work with us also. So everything is looking good in Kula's books. The only way Noctis could really hurt him is by challenging this Mega. Oh. And he gets it as well with the shotgun th and 3 HP. I don't believe it. So that sp off the spawn Noctis was almost a bit too slow getting himself the Mega health. And almost died before even picking it up. But he wants that red desperately. Machine gun up from both of the players, but Cooler's not giving up his position and makes it 7-2. to two. That is annoying for Noctis. I, th I think at that point, he just had to take his eyes off the red armor and focus on moving elsewhere on the map. And it letting Cooler go onto the red armor wasn't even such a big issue because Cooler would have been sacrificing uh, getting hold of weapons in order to get the armor. Noctis would have been able to do a lot of stuff, actually, I think, if he uh, avoided that. Yeah, this is looking pretty nice for Kula, but he is lacking armor at the moment, and he's going to have the rocket jump likely, and that's a really smart rocket jump from Noctis, but oh. can he... No, he can't get the damage done in time. It was a good idea, though, because Kula was stuck in a position where he didn't have any armor, and he needed to get mm -hmm. to yellows, and he would have had to jump across the entire mid area to do that, so the punish was there, potentially, for Noctis, but couldn't really connect. And uh, Kula's not that stacked just yet, but we have everything spawning, so... Yeah, that's right. And on this game as well, guys, if uh, Cooler wins this, then it's basically a two-horse race between him and Evil who determine positions in the group, essentially, as they'll both be on two victories and zero losses. But this fight up at the top area, Noctis, half-decent rocket right now, will get himself the kill. Can he find that extra bit of damage? Red Armor's up in three seconds. Is he going to drop aggressively? He is, but misses the rocket and the ledge. That would have possibly given him a good follow-up if he was able to stay on there. Nice defensive plasma as well from Cooler, in fact. Yeah, so Cooler's uh, still in really good stead at the moment. Noctis is trying to lay the traps out there. And you can get so much done with rockets. That's one of what the reasons why this map is so interesting. All these choke points. But mm. Cooler is uh, just going to lay down the machine gun fire. Just a lot of damage. He might even kill Noctis. Oh, He's hell. hanging out like nothing is 
<laughs> like everything's fine. It's like, that, it's like that little comic strip with the dog where it's like the, everything's burning down around him. It's like everything's okay. This is normal. I'm fine. I feel like Bath and Noctis is getting so close to making amazing things happen, but every time he gets a kill, he's just not able to stabilize. 13 health for Cooler. He is going to be able to get away and get himself some health and armor. That is once again frustrating. Noctis finding more damage afterwards, but again, Cooler's got something to, to live on. 13 health this time he goes down to. I do, I do want to hug Noctis, but not with the pummel. He needs one after this stressful game. Akula has played it well, and he, he's also, I mean, there's been some luck going all this way as well, as as almost, it's like blaspheme to say that, you know, yeah. to say that, but... You make, you make your own luck in Quake, uh, more often than not, I'd say. Yeah, he's, he's definitely had uh, <laughs> the better of some very marginal situations, just paying it really, really well, so definitely not to take anything away from Noctis. He played really well in this series. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's, it's been a lot of fun. This has been the most enjoyable series of the day so far, uh, personally. Uh, I think Blood Run was an absolute blast, especially going towards the end. And we did have some good back and forths uh, on this map. But it's, it's just a shame that Noctis, he gives up those five frags before he's able to really start making it close. Um, and then when he was picking up frags, he was always weak. He was never able to get to uh, uh, the Mega or Red, or at least a Mega that gave him a good stack. He's usually, oh, I'll pick up the Mega when I've got three health. Yay, that means that Cooler still has a better stack than me off the spawn. Um, so yeah, I think uh, Noctis definitely would have liked to get uh, some frags around items that are going to help him a bit more. Well, that's what happens sometimes, my nice little mm. frag there from Cooler, keeping him in the air. But I think Noctis is uh, accepting uh, defeat now, with 45 seconds to go. I uh, think um, the map pool overall is really good for, for a player like Cooler as well, because yeah. You have a lot of really slow maps, or maps that you can play really strategically, or you can get a lot of edges from just being just a smart positional player. And and uh, there's no like, for example, there's there's no Aerowalk, there's no Hectic, there's no Cure, there's no uh, what else am I missing? That's really fast. Toxicity. Toxicity. Aerowalk, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's, so. there's, there's none of those maps in, it. and it's a very interesting pool actually. I think we see a lot of uh, nice tax. Well, strategic plays. The fast maps are great, I think, but they're also very volatile in the way that they're played. Sometimes you see the some of the best, most of the worst games on the fast maps, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. But uh, GG. That means uh, Noctis is zero for two. Caller is two for zero. Evil's two for zero, and Claws is zero for two. So basically, who's going to come third, fourth in the group to decide between Claws and Noctis, which I believe is happening next? Mm. And then Cooler versus Evil will be the last game in Group A. Well, that's glorious seeding. Yep, that's right. Uh, so that means if you get first, it means you're likely not to go versus Cypher in the semis, basically. Which yeah. would be interesting to see. If, if Cooler, for some reason, wins, then evil Cypher possibility in the semifinals, that would be unusual. I'm still, I'm still really rooting for unusual. Faz. I think Faz Faz yeah? can make it. Yeah. You think I'm going to leave him first in his group? Man, Faz. In his, first in the group, it could happen. Or do you think it he's just going to? You just think he's going to be able to beat out uh, Spartan Tox? It, I I don't know actually. I actually cannot predict that group. The, the only, I, no, I it's, a, it's an insane group actually. The next yeah. the next group is. I find this group a lot Every easier to predict be, than the crazy. next one. Yeah. So there's there's going to be so much action in in next. But guys, we'll take a quick break and then we'll be right back from Noctis versus Claws. Uh, see you in a moment.